I installed Ubuntu on my Apple Silicon MacBook. It runs smoothly and gives me full Linux functionality without affecting Mac OS. Next, I set up Fedora. Switching between Linux distributions is simple, and the performance is surprisingly stable. Then I tested Kaylee Linux. For security enthusiasts and developers, running Kaylee on a MacBook opens up a lot of possibilities. And finally, Windows is running as well. In this video, I'll show you step-by-step -step how to install any operating system on an Apple Silicon MacBook safely and efficiently. There's a tool called UTM that makes it possible to virtualize any ARM-based operating system on Apple devices. It's a really powerful and flexible solution, and the setup is surprisingly straightforward. All you need to do is visit the UTM website, download the app, and you're ready to start installing your operating system of choice. The best part is that UTM works on both Macs and iPads, which means you're not limited to just MacBooks. You can technically run Linux, Windows, or other operating systems on iPads and iPhones as well. It's a safe and convenient way to experiment with different operating systems without affecting your main device or macOS installation. So, I installed UTM on my MacBook, and now let's see how to install any operating system using this setup. Nowadays, all major operating systems are available for ARM architecture, including Arch Linux, Windows, Ubuntu, and more. In this example, we'll be installing the ARM version of Kali Linux. You could also run an x86 or x64 system, but it would run through emulation, which is much slower and not practical for everyday use. So I've downloaded the ARM version of the Kaylee Linux image, and let's get it set up inside UTM. Go ahead and open UTM, then click on the Create a New Virtual Machine button. Now, if you're installing an ARM-based operating system, you'll want to choose Virtualize. Otherwise, go with Emulate. Next, select your operating system, whether that's Mac, Linux, Windows, or any other option like Pi OS. Once that's done, we need to allocate some memory make sure to allocate at least two gigabytes of RAM. If your system has more RAM available, you can definitely allocate more. Mine only has eight gigabytes, so I'm working with that. After you've set the RAM, enable hardware acceleration and hit continue. Now from this screen, go ahead and choose the ISO image of your operating system and continue. Next up, you'll need to give it some installation space according to your needs. For this example, I'm allocating 15 gigabytes. You can also share a directory from your Mac OS with the virtual machine. Just choose any directory you want and you'll be able to access it inside the VM later on. So our machine is now ready. Give it whatever name you'd like, save it and launch it. Now you can install your OS just like you would on a real laptop. But here's something important to keep in mind. Once you've completed the installation, you need to remove the bootable ISO from the VM settings. And that's it. Now you know how to install any operating system on your Mac. Give it a try on your machine. I know you're going to love it. It runs incredibly smooth on Mac. I've also got dedicated videos on installing Ubuntu and Windows that I'll link in the description. Be sure to check those out. That's it for this video. If you found this helpful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and drop a like. It really helps the channel grow. And if you have any questions or run into issues during installation, leave a comment below and I'll help you out.